My name is Luna Issa. Um, I'm one of the participants in this interfaith trip to Rwanda. Um, for me, from pretty much the moment we stepped out of the airport and stepped into, into Kigali, we've been greeted with such like warm welcomes. Um, and throughout the trip, we've been invited into people's homes with such warm hearts and such genuine hospitality. Like we were a group of strangers, and we were invited into people's homes. They cooked for us. They made us feel so well. So. Hi, I'm Gia Lennox. Uh, I'm a youth worker from St David's and Broomhouse in Edinburgh and I've had an unbelievable experience this week travelling in an interfaith group and for me this is my first experience of interfaith dialogue and one that I will take with me for the rest of my life and hope to continue back in Scotland when I go home and hope to build on these friendships and connections that I've made here in Rwanda. Hi, uh, my name is Halima. I just want to talk about our experience on Friday morning when the group went out to the Eid prayer, um, which is one of the celebrations within the Muslim faith. We took our Christian friends with us and we wanted them to kind of feel the atmosphere and um, be included in the celebrations as well and it was absolutely wonderful. As we sat down on the floor um, finding a space that would be, become our prayer space, our friends from Rwanda, actually they were strangers, people we hadn't met yet, they just welcomed us straight in and um, they just shared their prayer mats with us and said come, 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 just pray with us. Um, and even to our Christian friends, so that was really, really special, I think, even for them to feel that um, really welcoming hospitality of the Rwandan people. On the Sunday, we went to a traditional church service, and um, it was absolutely fantastic. It was my first time at an African service, and although it lasted three and a half hours, it was absolutely amazing. It was filled with singing, love and joy, I have the privilege of sitting with the children who are full of joy and when I went to Sunday school they were so willing to learn about Jesus and to learn about the teachings. We are uh, Christian and Muslim uh, work together for peace and reconciliation. I think that uh, to work together is necessary work together uh, is a need in every country. Uh, I think uh, they are convinced that they have one God and uh, if they trust in that God, uh, they are called to to love one another, uh, to live in peace, and to try to teach uh, those values to other persons of other countries in the world.